Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, first, sorry that I've been gone for so long. I just had a couple things I had to do and business I had to take care of. Today's video is gonna be for Scorpios. see what I can pull the link to my website will be in the description box below four of swords and three of cups all right the sun and the king of cups some of you could be going through a um a happy change changing things up for the better you could also um, distance yourself from someone is what it's looking like because the king of cups keeps himself at a distance someone could also be feeling great about you or feeling like like they over like they want to overcome something but they're not really showing it because the Sun is kind of like you overcome certain things and everything is out in the open again but they're still at a distance somehow some way um, could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio because it is a cup. So this could just be your energy or someone else's energy, but someone does kind of, yeah, want to get over it. Maybe restart. Ace of Cups is here. Maybe they want to offer you a... Excuse my train. Some type of new commitment, friendship, Ace of Cups is new love, also compassion. So you could be meeting someone new. Um, whoever this person is, whether you know them or someone new into your life, um, they definitely have a clear thought about what they want to do with you. Because the Knight of Swords kind of, he really knows what he wants. He or she really knows what he wants. So this is just looking like someone wanting to overcome something. And maybe get a greater love or some type of higher commitment. It's also feeling like peace. Someone could have also known um, something that they've done to you in the past. And now they have um, a clear way of thinking how to come back. See, why is the sun here? Two of Cups fell reverse. Did it fall this way? Fell this way. So yeah, this is definitely some type of commitment. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They kind of want to give you all of their attention. <clears throat> Maybe take you out, do something of that nature. But it's some type of um, commitment. Both of you guys being on the same page. Okay. Some type of agreement that somebody wants to um, come come forward with. this is a lot of cups so again this is a scorpio video so it is a lot of emotions in this um let's see they could have got away with something they could have also realized that they were greedy also this person could be keeping their self at a distance because they still have something that they're doing maybe They also could be keeping yourself at a distance because of some type of conflict. Okay, so whoever this person is, um, if they're a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, because this just is their energy, um, or it could be anyone, but they're definitely distancing themselves from you because it was either some type of conflict with you two, 
argument, disagreement, something didn't come back and click. Some type of tension. Okay, so. And again, this is a sword. So you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarius. I feel like this person is maybe not too sure how to come back towards you, but they want some type of conversation to heal or some type of, they just want to kind of get over it. Some of you might not be ready. Strength, Leo, the lion. This ace of cups in this strength, <clears throat> it's just maybe some of you might have pro probably had a, um, long time feeling towards this person or it's something that you're going to have to not get over but either uh, move on or reconnect it because it, it's like taking a toll on some of you also if they also could probably feel like you are the one who has strength over this whole situation in a way um maybe you i don't want to say tame because i don't like to talk like that but they feel as if you tame them or you calm them down or maybe you're the one for them. It's some type of, like you have the upper strength for them. Maybe you're their weakness or something like that. This is also someone realizing the situation that they were in or that they put you in. Okay. Um... This is giving me empress, empress woman with a lion, you know, someone who can calm someone down or someone that they want to commit to. Yeah, ten of pentacles. That sums it up right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Establishment. So you have the dogs, you have the um, couple friends, neighborhood, just pentacles all around it. And pinnacles, um, you know, are finance, material things. That's uh, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. People who are more um, strict with the way they go about their daily life. And this is something that has been, like, built up. Because you have um, ten pinnacles right here. So maybe they want to show you something. Um, maybe bring you closer have some type of um, agreement the chariot this is cancer this is power and victory someone wanting what's theirs or, or getting to the main source let's see why is this two of cups here This is two of cups here. Eight of wands. So, yeah, I feel like someone definitely wants to bring you closer. Okay. Um, Because eight of wands is about kind of like traveling and some type of change. So, there could be a big change coming into your life. They could be coming towards you, wanting to see you. And again, this is eight wands. So this is something, again, that has been leading up to something. Because we're in a number eight. Some type of change. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like someone's relationship is going to change. Someone might be coming um, towards you either telling you how they feel or showing up mm -hmm. and yeah will of fortune the changes in cycle so again with the changes in cycle the traveling the moving and the nine of pentacles the two of cups this is just something that has either come back around 
um, stronger, just like that Ace of Cups, something that is new, something that has came back around. Wheel of Fortune is a card of destiny. So when this card is pulled, it's just saying that destiny is here. Someone has probably been through the phases, understanding um, why they're in this situation or why they feel like something. It could also, um, could have also been some temptation here because I do see a snake. I see a fox. But yeah, Will of Fortune, it just goes around and it leads you to your destiny. So someone could have been confused. Um, it probably had no communication with you or something like that. Because they wasn't too sure. Wow. <laughs> and the lovers. Yeah. So we have we have two of cups and we have the lovers. Trials or tribulations. The lovers is Gemini. The the sign of uh two faces. This is someone who really didn't know what to do about a situation or what it was between you two. Um Will of Fortune and the Lovers just means that no matter what this person goes through for some of you, it always leads right back to the Lovers. And then what happens is someone either gets heartbroken, some type of miscommunication, and someone walks away with the Ten of Wands, just like the Eight. It's always leading up to something really, really big. Which just means every time it lands on the Lovers, nothing really... Um, happens should i say it's always it could be good but then it's always some type of trial and error and this is temperance right here trying to create some type of balance between the both of you and if someone walks away feeling um like a burden or feeling like you have all of these all of the person's emotional attachments with you so now you can't do the things you usually would do always walking away with something on your back whether it's you wanting to, to whether it's people meeting up and then no communication so now you you have all of this weight on your back or you're waiting for something it could also be the person really wanting to see you but then when they leave they have so much other stuff to um take care of and i see king of Pentacles, which is someone who's just very um disciplined and confident this is uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Someone who um, has a lot of things to take care of during the day. Same routines. So if they come and see you, it's like they're always leaving with some type of burden on their back. Okay. Let's see, why is this Eight of Wands here? This is eight of wands here. Nine of cups. You um make this person feel comfortable. I see the fool, so they do want a new beginning with you. Make this person feel comfortable, satisfied. Um, probably in their throne mood or queen mood. Um, this person also feels like when you're with them, they don't really need anything else because they have all of the emotional. It's not that they don't need anything else. They're emotionally fulfilled when you're with them or with they're with you. And that's why we have the two of cups and the lovers. Because it's some type of commitment. But then it's also a trial and an error with the lovers. Okay. Yeah. But this person is definitely satisfied. With it when they're with you, should I say? Um, not really satisfied, but they um in a sexual way, it's just more of feeling comfortable around somebody, feeling like um you can be yourself. This could have been someone that you met, um, new person that you met, and you feel like you know you've known them forever, something of that nature. Um, definitely a twin flame situation, soulmate, feeling like you've known someone forever. I did just see the six of swords. So someone could be leaving someone or putting someone in the past. 
two of wands trying to balance manage time this is pinnacle so this is what i mean how somebody might come around and then you know they're comfortable around you but now they have to balance you in their life or try to figure out how to um involve you in some type of way adapt to it this is also someone um knowing how they feel about you but um pentacles are so serious virgos are uh, capricorns and taurus are, are so um i don't want to say necessarily serious i just want to say they're content with their feelings so they, they try to manage a lot of different things at one time and this empress energy right here female energy is what they like um this is also fertility really high feminine energy whether it's um keeping yourself looking good or just doing feminine things let's see why is this lovers here The chariot again yeah, and nine of pentacles queen of swords is here so somebody definitely told someone off you know put them in their place told them how they felt about something eight of pentacles again um someone could also be working or building themselves up towards you for you this is a card of engagement it's also a card of just someone working and building their own selves up maybe to you know come back towards you and give you their all but this is definitely some type of uh victory here i'm gonna pull some romance angels kept saying this is someone who you know is really strict with their money financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so this could be someone who is just strictly worried about you know their business or becoming a better them and this is what i mean if you told someone off or you told them you know something that they didn't like all they did was try to go right back to work or try to just stay focused on money or something like that Okay. getting to know each other and i saw a deception at the bottom okay so it says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so this is all about you know someone finding out the truth or telling someone you're like who you really are or what's really going on the bond deepens because now everything is out and they, they know the situation. Uh, calling in your soulmate. This is just when you think about someone or when you dream about them, when you visualize them. Um, affirmations. When all that stuff happens, it just brings you two together. Not physically, but in another way. Okay. So this could be you wanting somebody and them wanting you. And it, it just because, you know, the will of fortune and it, it's eventually going to happen. It's going to bring you two together. So this is the reading for Scorpios. If you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. Thank you all for watching.